Okay, guys, so here are the chopped up carrots and red potatoes. I really do like the red potatoes more. I think they're actually healthier for you. And then, of course, I got my little forky here. And then I have in the crock pot, it's already in. So I got my big roast. And I put all my seasonings right on top. So I'm going to give you guys an idea. Okay, so it's a really, really big roast. These roasts are pretty expensive. Um, it was um, $12 and change. But it'll last me, if I can get the fork out here, it'll last me a while. So what I do is I fill a good portion of it with water and I drop the sucker in, turn it on high because you need to go high. And then I add my black pepper, my salt. I add parsley. I am a parsley and oregano nut. Okay, oregano. And then I add some Montreal steak, which this, this is fantastic on steaks, burgers, really meat. Okay, so I put it all on top. And then this guy is going to sit in there for a long time. Okay, so probably about, I think these usually take, if I remember correctly, it's like an hour. Could be an hour, could be a little bit longer, and you know, these will be done when they go in. But this guy's got to cook usually like five hours before I can even put these in. But these are really large ones. I mean, these weren't small. They were pretty darn big. I should have took a picture of them beforehand, but I didn't want to bore you guys with another food bank haul. I got some good stuff, but I got these. I guess I can show you a couple things while we're here. I'm going to be making my meatloaf. So I got three beautiful, fresh. I mean, these things came in like, they were like off the truck, you know, from the farm. But our local farmers do grow and donate. So I got three of these. Uh, this came from, this is the onion from uh, the quick shop right cart dive. So I got that. So the onions and the peppers are going to be going into my meatloaf and I already have all the ingredients. Um, these are the two things of organic sage. So if any of you guys know how to, a better way of drying these, I want to dry them, tie them up and then, um, light them on flyer. You know what I'm talking about. So if you guys know, you know, if I just knot it and hang it somewhere let me know i've been letting them sit out here and dry i don't cook with sage it's got a very interesting smell to it but some of them are going brown but some of them are okay like this one here so i already threw a couple out but i want i want to dry them and then i want to you know kind of bless my house if you know what i mean um food bank i got this bread nice big bread um, they're selling for 30 cents. That's pretty cool. And then I got the ShopRite rye bread. Look at this, $3.99. I love these. These are like my favorite little thing. And what else did I get from there? Uh, I, today I just got a pineapple, grapes, bananas. The shopping cart, I got the pears and the oranges. Uh, hmm. Not sure what else. Oh yeah, the tomatoes yep got the tomatoes so and i think the rest might be in the refrigerator and i'm not going to bore you with that so yes i still have the pumpkin in a cake mix i did get four different boxes so i will be making the two-step dessert for you guys so this is it guys this is my pot roast and when this comes out oh my lordy it is just fantastic So, and that's what's left of the lint chocolate truffles from when I
pulled out those like, I don't know, eight or nine bags. Oh, they're so addicting. But tomorrow I'm going to the Lint Chocolate Factory in Carlisle, Pennsylvania. I will be filming that. I did it once before, so I hope you guys will enjoy the new one. I may go Facebook Live on that. But yes, they are having specials. I got money from my parents to buy them a bunch of stuff. Uh, Susan from the dog rescue and her mother, it's her birthday. So we're taking to two and a half, three hour trip all the way up there or over there. And we're going to bring home some lint chocolate goodies. So, okay, guys, this is long enough. Um, I don't know if I'm going to show you it complete because like I said, this is going to be like, ah, uh, I think usually I do it for like eight hours. So we're looking at. Yeah, this won't load until the wee hours of the morning. I'm not going to do that. So if I decide to show it, then I'll show it. But we'll see. But this is basically it, guys. A roast in water, potatoes, carrots, and your seasoning. And that's it. So this cost me, this whole entire meal, which will last me one week, cost me less than $13. So, you know, that's not bad. All right. You guys take care. Love you. And see you on the next one. Don't forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe. And hit that notification bell so you guys will be notified of my next videos. Take care, guys. Love you. Bye. Good morning, everybody. Okay, the roast is done. My daughter had taken a bunch of it uh, this morning when she picked up Harley. But, yeah. The carrots the potatoes and the meat came out perfect see this will slide right in oh it looks fantastic and what i did was when i put the carrots and the potatoes on top last night of course i clicked it over to um low heat and let it cook and i just added all the spices back on top of the potatoes and the carrots except for the uh meat one now look at this roast it just pulls apart like your corned beef hash, which I love. Oh, and I already tasted it, and it's perfect. So it's, this is done. Oh, it's fantastic. Just the way I like it. So I'm going to bring some on my trip later, heading to Pennsylvania. And I'm going to bag this, or, uh... Put this all in a container, a couple containers, but that, there it is, guys. That is my roast. Let me just take a quick pick. Did I mess that up? I hope not. Okay. So there you go. That is, that is my roast in just water and spices, high heat on for four hours and then lower the heat just to the low here and drop on the potatoes and the carrots and some more spices and just let that puppy slow cook all night and it was done by seven this morning that i'm aware of i know for sure it was done at seven all right guys have a great day don't forget to like comment share subscribe and i'll see you guys on my next video bye Let's go.